Hello world, welcome to this quick tip number 16 where I surely hope you will never need it. Find my drone. Although this is a drone link video, it is actually a feature that comes from DJI GO 4 or DJI Fly. So if you are, like me, never using the DJI products except the drones of course, the feature still works, with one exception, you need to have a battery power, but if not, there's still a way. In this video we demonstrate you two ways of finding your drone using the feature from DJI. But if not, there's another possibility which we'll show you at the end. So let's start. I make here a very small route, just a very simple orbit on the fly. And after that I will land the drone somewhere away from me. It's the same thing if you crash or land or just if it forced landing somewhere without getting damage. As long as your battery is working, the feature works. To be very clear, I only use Drone Link here, so DJI GO 4 is not active. The drone of service is the Spark and that all works fine with all other DJI drones. The mission is now completed and I will land it somewhere away from me. Just, it doesn't matter if it is 100 meters or 1000 meters. We have simulated the crash. See the upload to air data, this is important. The drone has landed somewhere away from me. So, I close all my apps and the first thing I do now is open DJI GO. I go to Options and I go to Find my drone. Here you see the last known location of the drone, so that should be the place where the drone is if the battery is still working. The blue dot is my remote control. When you click on the arrow you get the following information. Enable indicator flashing and sound and the location. When you enable the indicator, your drone will start flashing and it will send a beep off. It's not loud, but it's working. And when you press on the location, you will get a very small menu, which probably means copy. So you copy. When you open maps on an iPhone, you can paste the location in the search bar. Please note that on an Android, it works exactly the same. When your device has found the location, save it. Now we have saved the location, we can start walking towards the drone. You can see the blue flare, that is the way my device is pointing, so that's a little bit easier if you are not on a road to locate where you are and how to walk to your drone. As the second method, we also can copy the same location into Google Earth, but the result basically will be the same.
The last method is air data. Remember that I told you to watch that it was uploaded. When we open the website, you will see the last known track. When we click on there, you see the visual. So that's our orbit. And that is the last recorded position. This is the exact method that have helped me already a couple of times.